But what goes around comes around. I got cheated on. I don't know if this happened to any of you guys. You guys ever have a celebrity bang your girlfriend? No? Happened to me. Not even that big a celebrity. Number 98 in the movie Mighty Ducks. His name was Pacey on this shitty show called Dawson's Creek. Don't you dare cheer for that lady in the back. It's a guy named Josh Jackson. He's a horrible actor and an even worse person. So I grew up in Wyoming, and unfortunately, you guys know about Wyoming, but most people don't really know anything about Wyoming. The only thing they know is when Matthew Shepard, that poor gay kid, got killed, and Josh Jackson came to my hometown to film a movie about it. So I wasn't the victim of a hate crime, but I was the victim of a hate crime movie, <laughs> which I'm trying to get a law passed, but no one gives a shit. I've got like 17 signatures, whatever. But I'll never forget, my girlfriend was hanging out at the hot club in Laramie, Wyoming. If you've ever been there, you know what I'm talking about. It's called the Holiday Inn Bar. <laughs> and she calls me up at midnight and she's like, oh my God, Josh Jackson's here, this is so cool. And I'm like, yeah, tell myself what's up. She calls me at 1 a.m. She's like, oh my God, Josh Jackson's buying us shots and drinks, this is so cool. I'm like, yeah, tell myself what's up. Two o'clock comes, no phone call. Three o'clock comes, no phone call. Four o'clock comes, no phone call. You're right. That's, I don't know if you've ever known someone's having sex with your girlfriend while it's happening, but it is the worst feeling in the world. It's like this big dick just kept poking me in the stomach over and over. And it just wouldn't come no matter how much I cried. And I finally fell asleep at like 8 a.m. And she called me the next day at like noon. And I'm like, what happened? And she's like, we went and had sex with Josh Jackson. And I was like, we? Who's we? She's like, me and my best friend Stephanie, who also had a boyfriend at the time. And like, looking back on it, I get it. She lived in Laramie, Wyoming. She had to think that was her only chance to hook up with a celebrity. She had no idea I'd become this famous. Like 500 Twitter followers or whatever. No. Uh, but I used to never tell this story because I didn't want my friends to find out and make fun of me. But this last November, they do a storytelling show at the Hollywood Improv, and my manager and my agents are like, you should just tell that Josh Jackson story. It's like kind of funny, and it'll be like therapeutic. I was like, all right. And I went and I told this story, which was an awful idea because all my dickhead friends were there, and they all bought me VHS box sets of Dawson's Creek for Secret Santa gifts. <laughs> which I know cost more than $20, so they broke the Secret Santa rule just to hurt my feelings. <laughs> but I told this story, and after the show, you know, I go out, I'm hanging out at the bar, and people would come over and be like, is that story true? Is it, is, it's kind of sad, is it really true? I'm like, yeah, of course it's fucking true. If I was gonna make it up, I'd at least say James Vanderbeek or somebody fucking <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. Who the fuck cares about Josh Jackson? So as I'm walking out of the club, I'm walking out of the comedy club, I walk out the front doors, and as I walk out, there's a couple like 20 yards away smoking cigarettes, and this dude's like, hey, hey man, can I talk to you real quick? And I was like, yeah man, what's up? He's like, that was a really funny story, but I got a funny story for you. I was like, what's that? He goes, we saw Josh Jackson at a bar right down the street like two months ago. He was just in there hanging out for like two hours. And I just smiled and I said, you know what, dude? If I had a time machine, I'd go back two months and I'd go to that bar and I'd beat the shit out of Josh Jackson. <laughs> and he gave me a five and we both laughed and we both thought it was funny. But I guess his girlfriend didn't think it was that funny. Because she was like, uh, hey man, if you had a time machine, you should probably go back and save that gay kid. And then Josh Jackson never come to your shitty town and fuck your whore girlfriend. <laughs> and I didn't even know what to For some reason I was like, thank you. <laughs> And I turned around, I walked to my car, and when I got to my car, all I could think was, man, if I had a time machine, I would go back 45 seconds and I would kill that bitch right in front of her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs>